It's a first meeting. So we made contact with residents to assure the families. Get us information, let us know what's going on. They will see results. You know, you can call us anonymously in 24 hours. Like this single mother and her 13 year old. We barely sleep at night sometimes. They be shooting, arguing, fighting. They live in Washington Shores at Jacob's Place, once managed by PDQ, which went under, leaving this place riddled with crime. And open alcohol, drugs, uh, by, uh, you know, violent acts, uh, people getting hurt. Fannie Mae took possession of the property and hired the Critical Intervention Service, who will provide 24-hour security for hundreds of apartments where some struggling families are trying to improve their lives. These people aren't getting kicked out. No. Uh, we'll find out who the problem residents are, the drug dealers, the gang members, and they go. Yes. With the help of the Orlando Police Department, new management will correct years of damage from the issues you can't see. They really let this neighborhood run down. To those a bit hidden. You do everywhere. A much needed change for a better future. This community is bad for like kids my age, younger, older. And another immediate change to the complex is this mobile command center behind me. According to the CIS team, they told me they're going to keep this out here until they feel they have this complex under control. In Orlando, George Estevez, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.